I just want to say thank you to my friends, my family, and my fiance for always giving me the best support I could have asked for. My name's Jacob Heath. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, I'd secondly like to thank my parents and my sister for just being a great support system. Um, I'd also like to thank my friends, both the ones I had before coming to JSU and the ones I've made along the way. Matt, um, Carson, Alex, just to name a few. And uh, last but not least, I'd like to thank the, the faculty and staff of JSU for just being so great to us here and uh, I, especially in the School of Business and Industry I truly feel that all the teachers have my best interest at heart. Thank you for everybody that came out today. I love y'all. appreciate everything y'all do to me and supporting me. Go Gamecocks. My name is Ashley Bravo and first I would like to thank my parents because without them I would not be here today. Um, they have supported me fully throughout my whole college journey. I would also like to thank my siblings, my brother and my sister. They have also supported me wholeheartedly in my time here at JSU. Um, I would like to thank El Latido. El Latido is an organization here on campus that I've made the bestest friends through them and as well as Zeta Faeda, I've made the bestest friends through there. One professor that I would really, really like to thank is Dr. Shaw. He has has supported me, he has encouraged me my whole time in any single class that I've taken with him at JSU. So those are a few people that I would like to thank. My name is Ashley Westbrook and I'm a business management major and I would like to thank my lovely parents for always supporting me and being there for me as well as my family for all the phone calls and I would like to thank my pastor for always keeping me in his prayers and anybody else that has affected me during this journey I just want to say thank you and I love y'all and we out. Thank you, JSU, and my family from El Salvador for this amazing opportunity. My name is Ladarius Graham, and I'd like to give a shout out to my family for the support. And I'd also like to thank the faculty and staff of Jacksonville State for making this journey a wonderful trip. Go Gamecocks. I want to give a shout out to my husband and kids for all the support. I'd like to say thank you to my mom and dad for being so supportive of me uh, over the last four years and to my brother Drew for being my forever best friend. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to my amazing professors and classmates that I've had during my time at JSU. And I want to give a huge shout out to my JCSC family who have made this the best four years of my life. And I am excited to start my master's program and spend more time with y'all. I love you all and go Gamecocks. I just want to give a big shout out to my family, my parents and my siblings, my older sister, my younger brother, Sydney and Tyler, and my grandparents that were so kind to allow me to go to college in the first place. I also want to give a shout out to my sorority sisters and Delta Zeta and all of the friends that I made in the Marching Southerners while I was a member and all my professors and friends that I made throughout the years at JSU. Go Gamecocks. I'd like to give a big shout out to all of our friends and family who've helped me get this far. I definitely wouldn't be here without y'all. Thank you to everyone at this university who's developed me into the person that I am today. Go Gamecocks and beat beat. I just want to thank my mom and my dad for your constant support and encouragement throughout my journey. To my sisters and brothers for supporting me, especially my nieces and nephews who are excited about me getting another degree. They're my life and my joy. I also want to thank my godparents for their constant love and support throughout my journey. I love you. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. My name is Cortez McConaughey, majoring in Occupational Safety and Health Management. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give a big shout out to my family for sticking with me through this whole process. I also want to shout out my teachers, everyone in the Applied Engineering Department for giving me all the right resources and tools that I needed to pursue my degree and further my degree. And I also want to give a special shout out to my girlfriend as well, uh, Destiny. She has been here through the whole process as well and been here through the whole way. Thank you. I want to say thank you to everybody who helped me along the way, everybody who's gave me anything, words of advice, money, or even time just to let me vent to them. Thank you, everyone, for helping me get here. Thank you to my family and friends and Zach for making my graduation so beautiful and special to me. This graduation wouldn't be possible without you. First off, I want to thank God. I want to thank my friends and my family, everyone who contributed to me coming this far. Thank you. Love you guys. I just want to give a shout out to my family for supporting me for uh, my four and a half years at college. I uh, could have graduated early, but uh, 
they were cool with me changing my career path a little bit, so thank y'all for being there for me for that. I want to shout out my fraternity brothers for helping me through those tough times during college and making some good memories. And I also want to shout out the Gamecock orientation program and uh, how close I got with those teams and uh, just the uh, fun I had during the summer. So stay cocky. Congratulations to the class of 2022. I wish you all much success in the future. I want to thank all of my family and friends for believing in me. I'm 35 years old and you can still do it. It's never too late. Congratulations, everybody. First, I would like to thank my mommy, Tracy. I'd like to thank my brother, Chris, and I'd like to thank Dreek, my boyfriend, for all you guys' support as I've been doing this in my master's program. Thanks. Hey guys, um, I just want to say thank you to my family, to my mom, my dad, Avery, Cam, to Nim, to everybody. Um, a huge thank you to Dr. Best for all you've done for me, and just thank you. Hi, my name is Destiny Moore. I'm a family consumer science major. I just want to thank my mom, my brother, and my nephew, and all my friends that I made here at Jacksonville State University. Go Gamecocks. <laughs> Hey, my name is Marissa Moses, and I want to give a shout out to, first and foremost, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Without him, none of this would be possible. I want to thank my husband and my daughter for their encouragement and their support all along the way. And I want, also want to thank my parents for their support along the way as well. Go Gamecocks! Hi, my name is Michael Kennedy, and I want to thank my support system, my parents, um, my siblings, my professors, and everybody who's helped me along the way. Um, my mom and dad, please continue to watch over me. Um, Mr. C signing off. Go Gamecocks. Hi, my name is Emma Westbrook. I would like to shout out my friends and family. First, I would like to shout out my mom. Thank you so much for being my rock over the past four years. And second, I would like to shout out my dad. I love you. Thank you so much for looking down on me all this time. Um, and go Gamecocks. Hi, my name is Taylor Freeman, and I am a student here at Jacksonville. Actually, I'm graduating today, and I would just like to say a huge thank you to my family and friends for helping me throughout this journey and helping me get to where I am today. Thank you. First and foremost, I want to give the greatest shout out to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for carrying me every step of the way through this journey. Thank you to my family, specifically my mom, my sisters, brother-in-law, and my amazing nephew. Thank you so much to my friends and my church family for being such a great support system. Thank you so much to my boyfriend and his family for being an amazing newfound support system in my life. Y'all are such a blessing to me. Thank you so much to Dr. King and the entire Student Success Center for making all of this possible for me. I would not be able to do it without you or my family, so thank you so much. And last but not least, thank you to JSU for being my home for so many years between two degrees. I cannot thank you enough for that. And thank you so much to my professors for giving me so much wisdom, knowledge, and for your passion for education. And furthermore, uh, congratulations graduates and go Gamecocks. Hello everyone, my name is Claudia McClooney Fluker and today is our day. I want to say thank you first to God for, you know, always being here for me and for answering all of our prayers, for getting us to this day because it has not been easy, but I want to say thank you God. And um, another thing, I want to say thank you to my family and most of all to my mother. And I want to say I love you so much. Thank you for encouraging me and pushing me always to do my best. And to my stepdad, I want to say thank you as well for always being here for me and for loving me for who I am. And to my family, I want to say thank you all um, for being here for me as well and for pushing me. And to my husband, I want to say I love you and I thank you for um, and appreciate you for everything that you do. And to um, you know my baby that's in my belly, I want to say I love you so much and I can't wait for you to be here. And your mom did it. It wasn't easy, but I did it. And I want to say thank you to my fellow classmates. And um, I want to say uh, congratulations to everyone who's graduating today. And go Gamecocks! Thank you so much to my family for helping me make it this far. And I love all of you. <laughs> I would like to thank my family for supporting me up to this point. I probably would not have made it this far without all of you. Hi, my name is Molly McCorder. Um, congratulations to all of us graduating today. I would like to thank my mom and dad, um, my grandparents, my fiance, Ethan. Thank you for helping me get here today. Thank you for supporting me. Go Gamecocks! I would like to say thank you to my husband, Kyle, for supporting me and motivating me through my college experience. And I would like to say thank you to my family and my friends for also supporting me through college. 
Hello, everybody. I want to say a thank you to my family and all my friends and all my students who have gotten me to where I am now. I want to shout out my parents and my best friends for getting me through college. I love y'all. Hi, my name is Marla Britt Franklin, and I'm thankful for all the educational opportunities that Jacksonville State University has provided me, as well as the support that my family and friends have given me along the way. Go Gamecocks. Hi, my name is Kara Gormany, and I'm thankful for the opportunity that Jacksonville State University has given me to expand my education, and I am thankful for the support from my family and friends. I just want to thank my friends and my family for helping me on this journey. Thank you. I would like to thank my family and friends for coming and supporting me today. I want to thank God for this amazing opportunity, and I want to thank my amazing family, uh, specifically my mom and dad, for all your amazing support. And I want to thank my boyfriend, Ryan, and my friends that I've met in this program. I couldn't have made it here without you. Thank you. Hey everyone, I want to give a shout out to all my friends and family, especially my husband for being my support system through it all. Um, I really do have like the best support system ever. I love y'all so much. Go Gamecocks. I want to say thank you to my friends, my family. Um, I want to send a special shout out to Dr. Sorrell um, for helping me through everything this semester and throughout the program. I want to say thank you to my volleyball girls for supporting me and helping me get through this journey. and. Thank you to everyone that helped too. Thank you mom, dad, Dylan, Grana, and the rest of my family and friends for all of your love and prayers during this journey. I love you so much. What's up Gamecocks? First of all, I just want to thank uh, God for getting me to this point uh, in my academic career. I also want to thank my mom and my dad and my sister for supporting me through this whole journey. Um, I could not have done it without you guys. I also want to thank my boyfriend Peyton and all of my best friends of JCSC and my A&B family. I love all of you guys and could not be here without you. Go Gamecocks! Primeramente quiero dar las gracias a Dios que me dio la oportunidad de estar aquí, a mis papás que me han apoyado durante todo este camino y a toda la gente que me sigue apoyando. Le quiero dar las gracias a mis padres por todo su apoyo para que yo pudiera estar aquí en este momento. Gracias por todo lo que han hecho por mí. Los amo. I just want to start off by thanking God first. I couldn't have done it without him. I want to thank my mom, my dad, and my boyfriend. They've been my biggest supporters throughout my journey here at JSU. I'm super excited about this experience, and I thank God that I made it this far. Peace out, JSU. Primero le quiero dar gracias a Dios porque en verdad sin él no estaría aquí. Le quiero dar gracias a mi familia, a mi mamá, a mis hermanas, a mi hermano y a mis abuelos. Gracias por todo su apoyo, todo su amor, por siempre decirme que le eche ganas. Sin ustedes no estaría aquí. I want to thank my friends. Thank you for your support. Um, thank you for all those words of encouragement. Thank you for always telling me to push through. Um, and lastly, I want to thank J JSU and all my professors. I've learned so much and I've had a wonderful time here at JSU. Go Gamecocks. He's a bull. <laughs> Hello. I want to take the time to thank my family, friends, professors, and relatives that have helped me out throughout this journey at JSU. I also want to give a special shout out to my kids. Without them, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. They are the reason why I have pushed through. Ma, le quiero agradecer a todos los que me han apoyado durante, durante el colegio, a mis familiares, a mi madre, a mi padre. Le quiero agradecer a mis tías y especialmente a mis profesores. Le quiero también agradecer mucho a Dios también especialmente que he llegado a llegar a esta etapa de mi vida y también le doy muchas gracias al apoyo de todos. Especialmente el apoyo más grande que he tenido son los de mis hijos. Sin ellos no podría haber terminado. Good evening, everyone. Yes, we are here. Thank you to my faculty chair, Dr. Richie and Dr. Vero. Thank you to my preceptor, Dr. Donna Dunn. Congratulations to my fellow graduates. And last but of course not least, I want to thank my family for being here for me, having have supporting me, having my back, encouraging me, and loving me through this journey. I appreciate y'all so much and I love you even more. First of all, I would like to thank Lord Jesus Christ. Without him, I would not be here today. Next, I would like to thank my husband who tolerate the long study hours 
and this whole entire two years. I also would like to thank my daughter who helped me with the technology and gave me the courage to continue on. Last but not least, I would like to thank my mother who continually prayed for me throughout these last two years. I want to thank everyone who supported me throughout this process. Hi, good morning. Just want to send a shout out to my family and friends for supporting me through my journey with education. Thank you. Go Gamecocks. A shout out to my husband and my kids, George, Shelby, Nick, and Matt. Thank you so much for being there for me and my parents for always telling me to follow my dreams. First, I want to thank my parents. Uh, thought you guys I wouldn't be here today. Uh, Y'all taught me so much. Y'all taught me how to be the man that I am today. Uh, and without that, um, I don't know where I would be today. Um, I would like to thank my brother. Um, he's taught me a lot as, a, as well. And with that, you know, I'm very grateful to have the family that I have. Um, I want to thank my friends, um, the ones that I met here, the ones um, that have grown up with me. I want to thank them just for accepting me, um, accepting me to be the person that I am right now and just always being there for me. Oh, first I just want to thank God for helping me get this far. Um, I want to send a special shout out to my mom and my dad for all their continuous support through this long process. I want to thank my best friends for pushing me to complete this because it was very hard. And I want to send a special shout out to my boyfriend for making sure that I get all my work done and just being on me like he was. And last but not least, I want to give a shout out to my son for giving me the motivation to get through this very last semester. First, I want to thank God. Big shout out to my mom and my grandma. Thank you to my family and my friends for supporting me here while my time here at JSU. Thank you and go Gamecocks. <laughs> Hey guys, I'd like to give a big shout out to my family who's been very supportive of me through this whole process of my school career. My husband Matt, my son Hunter, and my daughter Michaela, my brother Jerry, and my dad Lee. I just want to say that I love you guys and thank you so much for everything that you have done to support me throughout this entire journey. Also, if it wasn't for my professors and my teachers guiding me, and help me through this process. I probably wouldn't have made it this far and have been able to graduate. So I just want to say thank y'all to everyone who's helped me through this and have been by my side through all, through all of it. Thank you. So first off, I would like to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for giving me the opportunity to obtain my degree from such a great university. I wouldn't have made it this far without a lot of prayer and support from the people around me. I would like to thank my mom and my dad and my brother Cooper for all the encouragement and support that they've given me over these few years. I would also like to thank my other family members that are here today for the constant encouragement that they've been in my life. And I would like to thank the teachers in the uh, social work department here at JSU for the support that they've given me, and also JSU as a whole for the great experiences that I've had over these past few years. Go Gamecocks. Hey, hey. First, I'd like to give a shout out to God for allowing me the opportunity to go to JSU and for being with me every step of the way and for providing for my school. Next, I want to give a shout out to my friends and family for making this journey so fun. Also, I want to give a shout out to JSU University Police Department for letting me work with you guys. Y'all are awesome. And I also want to give a shout out to my professors. Thank y'all for genuinely caring about your students and for showing us what it's like to be a social worker. And shout out to my classmates. We made it. I want to say thank you to all my friends and family that have supported me this far. A huge thank you to my mom and my amazing boyfriend, Jordan, for supporting me through this long, hard journey. I wouldn't have made it without you all. Hi, I just want to send a shout out to my amazing family and my support system. I wouldn't have made it without you. I know I've been very difficult this last year, but we made it. Thanks, Mom, Dad, Kiana, Angel, and my boyfriend, Matt. I love you guys. First and foremost, I would like to thank God. I wouldn't have made it this far without him. Secondly, I would like to thank my family and friends for supporting me throughout this entire journey. We made it. I just want to shout out my, um, my parents, my mom and my dad, who have been very supportive through this whole college journey. And then also my sisters, Kaylee and Emily. They are with me through it all. 
and they'll be with me through next year whenever I go from the Masters of Social Work. So I'm excited to come back to JSU. I love this campus and everyone here is so welcoming. I've had amazing teachers and I'm so excited to work with them again this next year. Go Gamecocks! I just want to give a shout out to my family and friends for supporting me through my college journey. I love you all. I want to give a shout out to uh, my family, my mom, and uh, my fiance, and just everybody who supported me uh, throughout this process. My whole village, my whole tribe, you know, they say it take a village and they really looked out and I just want to thank y'all. I want to give a shout out to my friends, my family, and all the professors in the social work department at JSU. Go Gamecocks and Blue Southerners. I want to say thank you to my husband, my parents and grandparents, and all the social work professors here at JSU for helping me get through my BSW. Go Gamecocks! First, I want to give a huge shout out to my friends and my family for supporting me through this journey, and I want to give another shout out to the professors in the social work department. Go Gamecocks! First and foremost, I want to thank God for being by my side through this entire journey. Next, I want to thank family, friends, and anyone else for supporting me along the way. Go Gamecocks. Hey everyone, thank you for coming to my graduation today. I want to give a huge shout out to God, my friends and family. Thank you for being with me through this journey and helping me get this far. Degree number two on the way, yay. I would like to give a huge shout out to my grandmother for always being my number one supporter and being right by my side through all my endeavors. I would like to also give a special shout out to my guardian angel, my great grandmother for always watching over me and guiding me in the right direction and paths. You are truly my jewel. Lastly, I would like to thank all my family and friends for coming out to help celebrate this joyous occasion with me. As one person once said, all good things must come to an end. With that being said, your girl is out. I just want to thank my family, my friends, and everyone else who has been a part of my amazing journey. I couldn't have done this without all of your love and support, so thank you all. Special shout out to my significant other, Priya, for staying up with me, stressing with me, and going through all of the chaos that the master's program has caused. So thank you, everyone, and go Gamecocks. I would like to give a huge shout out to God, my parents, my family, and friends for supporting me and encouraging me throughout my time here at JSU. We did it. Class of 2022. Go Gamecocks. Hi, everyone. I'd like to thank uh, all my professors here at Brewer at JSU who made my college experience memorable. I would especially like to thank Ms. Leo Belser. Uh, without Ms. Belser's guidance, um, I don't know if I'd even be here graduating today. Uh, she was always a person that I could turn to if I needed assurance and guidance. I'd also like to thank Mr. Russell Brand, who I met during my internship, who is also a mentor to me and whose advice I'm gonna take with me for the rest of my life. I'd also like to thank my family and especially my mother. Thank you for always supporting me and for always believing in me. Thank you to Southerners, Drumline, and Alpha Z Delta for all of your inspiration and encouragement. A special thank you to my parents and my brother and my sister, all my friends and family. I couldn't have done it without you. Hey guys, I'm Caitlin. Um, I just want to start this off by thanking my mom and dad for pushing me to finish my dreams. Um, I want to thank my sisters, Addison and Samantha, and my brother Landon, for always being there for me and making sure that I'm doing the right thing. I want to thank Garen, my boyfriend, for being there for me and always making sure that um, I don't stop my dreams before they're finished. Go Gamecocks. I like to thank my family for always supporting me and pushing me to reach my full potential and my friends for always standing by me through everything. College has truly been amazing with y'all. Go Gamecocks. <laughs> I want to give a big shout out to my parents for uh, pushing me, my sister, um, the Academy <laughs> and um, me because I'm awesome. Go Gamecocks. So I just want to say a quick shout out to my mom and my dad. Thank you guys for supporting me um, and thank you to the rest of my family because you guys have been just as uh, essential to the process and thank you to uh, my friends who made it today and yeah it's been a great journey. Hello family and friends. Thank you for supporting me throughout my journey at this college and just with life. I want to say that this is not the end, but this is a start to something new, and that this is not for me, but is this is for us.
We will begin our commencement ceremony in five minutes. Please take your seat and silence your cell phone. Thank you.
It is now time to begin Jacksonville State University's Fall 2022 Commencement Ceremony. Please stand for the processional and remain standing.
to Jacksonville State University's Fall 2022 Commencement Ceremony. Please remain standing for the presentation of colors by the JSU Army, ROTC Honor Guard, and the National Anthem, followed by an invocation. I'd like to thank Ms. Kaylin Harris, our Honor Guard, and the JSU Chamber Winds, directed by Dr. Kenneth Bodiford, for that moving presentation. Jacksonville State University is a diverse community of many cultures and many faiths. We respect and celebrate those differences. Please remain standing as today's invocation is given by a representative of the local faith community, Reverend Robert Fowler, St. Luke's Episcopal Church, Jacksonville, Alabama. Reverend Fowler. Good morning. I invite you to bow your heads with me, please. Most gracious and loving Heavenly Father, on this joyous Friday in December, at a time when people of all faiths reflect on the past, present, and future, we come together at the friendliest campus in the South to celebrate a special day in the life of these college graduates. The past few years have been especially challenging for these students and the university they have called home, and they have cleared many obstacles in the pursuit of this moment in their formal education. We offer thanks for the many people administration, faculty, staff, and advisors that have shepherded them through this university. In gratitude, we pray for the families who have sacrificed and worked to bring them to this hope-filled moment. As they embark on the next chapter in their lives, whatever that may be, we pray that the same hand that has kept them safe thus far will continue to be ever-present in their lives. May your veil of protection be over them, and may your word continue to be a light unto their path. Keep them steadfast in their endeavors. Help them to make wise decisions. And may they always keep you first in everything that they do. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Fowler. You may be seated. Good morning. 
I am Dr. Christy Shelton, Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs at JSU. It is my pleasure to serve as your Mistress of Ceremonies and to welcome all of you to this Fall 2022 Commencement Ceremony. We are also happy to welcome guests from all over the world joining us live on the University's Facebook and YouTube accounts. We welcome all audience participants wherever you may be. Commencements are important events on our campus requiring teamwork from numerous people. So let me acknowledge the JSU staff from many departments across campus who have responsibilities for producing JSU commencements. Their contribution to the success of this graduation event is greatly appreciated. Please join me in thanking all of them. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce JSU's 13th president, Dr. Don C. Killingsworth, Jr. Dr. Killingsworth. Thank you, Dr. Shelton, and good morning. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration, welcome to Jacksonville State University's fall commencement. Thank you for joining us on this special day as we celebrate the accomplishments of the class of 2022. Joining Dr. Shelton, Reverend Fowler, and myself on stage this morning are Mr. Drew Lynn, alumni speaker, Dr. Emily Messer, Vice President for Advancement and Enrollment Management, Dr. Stacy Stone, Dean of the College of Arts and Humanities, Dr. Brent Cunningham, Interim Dean of the College of Business and Industry, Distinguished Professor John Bauer Graham, Dean of the Houston Cole Library, Dr. Channing Ford, Dean of the Graduate Studies, and Ms. Casey Ogle, Director of Alumni Relations. Thank you to each of you for participating in today's ceremony. And thank you to all the faculty and staff who have worked to organize today's event. Before we turn our attention to celebrating the achievements of our graduates, let us first take a moment to recognize those who have assisted them on the journey, leading them here today. I ask would the family and friends of today's graduates please stand and be recognized. Thank you for your unwavering support of your students and for entrusting us with their education. At this time, I would like to recognize our U.S. Army ROTC cadet graduates who became commissioned officers in the U.S. Army yesterday. Please stand to be recognized and remain standing as I call your name. Second Lieutenant Jarrett Gallops. Second Lieutenant Vincent Slava. Congratulations and thank you for your dedication to serving our country. I would also like to recognize all the veterans of our armed forces and current military personnel who are graduating today. Would all veterans and current military personnel please stand and remain standing. Also, if there are any veterans in the audience, please stand and be recognized. We thank you for your service for our country. It is a historic day for many families in attendance as you are here to witness the first member of your family graduating from college. JSU has always been known as an institution that makes college accessible to first-generation students. Our faculty and staff, many of whom were once first-generation students themselves, take pride in helping these students succeed. Graduates, if you are the first person in your immediate family to earn a four-year degree, please stand so that we may recognize you.
well done. You may be seated. Graduates, we are here today to help you mark an important milestone, having successfully completed the necessary requirements to earn your degrees. You are now entering the Fellowship of Scholars. Whether you an are an undergraduate who is about to start your first job or a graduate student advancing in an established career, this is a time of great excitement and anticipation. It is also bittersweet as you must part ways with classmates, professors, and friends who have become family and say goodbye to a place that has become your home. Just remember that no matter where life leads you or how many years pass, you will always be a part of the JSU family, and this campus will always be your home. During your time here, you have formed connections with people from all over the world and made lifelong friends. You have studied in your chosen field under the guidance of our talented faculty. You have strengthened your critical thinking skills, expanded your knowledge, and explored your creativity. When you cross this stage in a few moments, you will be counted among the small number of citizens who have graduated from college. Did you know that a little more than 20% of Alabamian, Alabama adults have earned a college degree? While graduating from college is a tremendous accomplishment anywhere, I have always felt it is even more meaningful to Jacksonville State graduates. Many of you were the first in your families to attend college and have made great sacrifices to be here. You have put yourself through college, juggling classes, jobs, and family responsibilities. Along the way, you have not only earned a degree, but gained a work ethic unmatched by your peers. Perhaps this is why our employers seek out our alumni. JSU graduates are known for their drive, determination, and compassion. They never forget where they came from, they strive for success, and they defy expectations. As you start the next chapter of your lives, filling critical roles in your communities, continue to keep the spirit of the friendliest campus in the South alive in your hearts by helping others along the way. Treat others with kindness, be a mentor to those coming up behind you, and remember to lift as you climb. These are the hallmarks of a JSU graduate. We cannot wait to see all that you will accomplish. Congratulations and thank you for choosing JSU. At this time, I have the honor of introducing today's commencement speaker. Mr. Drew Lynn earned a bachelor's degree in business administration from JSU in 1970 and began building and acquiring dealerships representing the International Truck and Engine Corporation, Ida Lease, and IC Bus. In 2010, Southland expanded further by adding a trailer division representing Wabash, Transcraft, and Benson. Southland Transportation Group has locations in Tuscaloosa, Montgomery, Homewood, Birmingham, and Huntsville, as well as associate dealerships in Pine Hill and Vernon. Mr. Lynn is a member and former chair of the Alabama Trucking Association, which awarded him the H. Chester Webb Distinguished Service Award. He has also served on several dealer advisory boards for Navistar. He has received numerous trucking industry honors, including the IC Southeast Bus Dealer of the Year, International Dealer of the Year, International Circle of Excellence, and American Truck Dealer of the Year. In addition to his appointment to the JSU Board of Trustees, Mr. Lynn has a long history of lending his business acumen and service to Alabama's colleges and universities. He served on the Alabama Commission for Higher Education from 2006 to 2015 spending his last year on the board as its chairman. He is also a member and former chair of the foundation board at Shelton State Community College and previously served on the University of Alabama Center for Transportation Advisory Board. In the community, Mr. Lynn serves on the board of directors for West Alabama Bank and Trust and is a past member of the West Alabama Regional Commission. He has been a member of the Tuscaloosa Chamber of Commerce since 1978 which named him Businessman of the Year in 1997. He has also enjoyed participating in the City of Tuscaloosa's Adopt the School program since its inception. He and his wife, Tracy jo Joy Knowles, reside in Tuscaloosa and have two children and three grandchildren. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Drew Lynn. Wow, thank you, Dr. Killingsworth. 
I'm honored to be here with this incredible student body, the December class of 2022. And also, thank you to the instructors, professors, and family members that have, have equi equipped and empowered you to be the leaders of the next generation. They are the people who will help you prepare for your journey, not your destination. You have finished your undergraduate degree, and that's something no one can take from you, so be proud. I did graduate from JSU only a few years ago. Okay, a few decades ago. Right. <laughs> University holds a special place in my heart. As a matter of fact, I did not graduate summa cum laude, but I did graduate thank the Lord. I made it, you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Today I'd like to talk to you about three things. The heart, your ears, and the brain. Your heart. I'm not referring to anatomy. I'm referring to your true feelings and your deepest personality. This cannot be taught. It's your passion, it's what fires your enthusiasm. You are going to make an impact on the future, and this is your time. You're going to, you're going to lead people, you're going to change the world. And we need individuals who will find a way to say yes, even when there seems to be no solution. You know, many of you will be leaving the security of what you know, and you'll be taking risk. But remember, if so many leaders have said, the will to prepare to win is more important than the will to win. A good example of this would be a man who at the age of 65 was living on $99 a month in a small house, run-down car. He decided it was time to make a change. So he thought, he thought about what he had to offer. And his thoughts came to a recipe that he had. He left town, traveled throughout the country, and he went to 1,009 restaurants trying to sell the recipe. And he got a no. But he didn't give up. 1,010, the restaurant said yes. And the rest is history. His name, Colonel Sanders. We all know Kentucky Fried Chicken. You know, the only way to be successful is to do great work. And the only, only way to do great work is to love what you do. So seek that out. Your ears. Okay, I know you're tired of tests. One last pop quiz. Just bear with me. I'm going to say something like one. You're going to say, way to go. I'm going to say three. You're going to say, all right. Hold on, here we go. 2095. 2097. 2099. Hold the diplomas, hold the diplomas. Okay. <laughs> anyway, all right. The dictionary defines, he <laughs> the, the dictionary defines hearing as the process function or power of perceiving sound. Listening, on the other hand, means to pay attention. The sound of some, hear, to hear something with thoughtful attention and give it consideration so you can understand. First person you need to listen to is yourself. Listen to your instincts and be approachable. Otherwise, you'll have, never have the opportunity to hear the question. You have to be willing to listen to all the news the good news and the opportunities. Notice I didn't say bad news. There is no bad news. Bad news is just a, what they consider bad news is just an opportunity to find a solution. How you respond to any situation will set the stage for your success. A great American poet and civil rights activist, Maya Angelou, once said, I've learned that people will forget what you say, they'll forget what you did, but they will never forget how you made them feel. Your brain. Again, this is not a lesson in anatomy. I want to talk about the physical brain, which can be touched. I want to talk about the mind. Your, your mind cannot be physically touched, but it can be changed. It can be changed by your thoughts, your feelings, and your choices. Your mind is one of the strongest powers you will possess. It is, it's already played a big role in, the, in processing the information that you're, 
your professors and your loved ones have, have already brought to you. All of this emphasizes how your attitude determines success or failure. You get to choose. Did you know that your brain can't tell facts from fantasy? Because it reacts to your thoughts. How many of you have gone to a zoo and seen an elephant dragging a big rope or a chain around its foot? You know, when the elephant's young and smaller, they use the same size rope to tether them. And, and they're conditioned to the belief, they're conditioned to, they can't move, they can't go any farther. They adopt the belief that breaking free just isn't possible. This paints a wonderful picture of how powerful the mind is. The founder of Ford Motor Company, Henry Ford, said it this way, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. So always keep in mind that the belief, in, the belief that you want to achieve something is possible. Always keep it in mind. Believing you can become successful is the most important step in achieving this. Imagine with me just for a moment. Imagine a young man returning home from a business trip. Imagine this young man sitting next to a total stranger on an airplane. Imagine a conversation during the flight. The stranger asking, what do you do? Imagine the stranger drawing on a napkin. He drew a map and started placing dots on the map. The stranger said, what if? I was sitting next to the man with that napkin some 40 years ago. The dots were cities, cities that the stranger asked me to imagine. Today, Southland Transportation Group employs approximately 250 people in seven locations across Alabama. I am so thankful I was able to imagine. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not the end, but a wonderful beginning, and the world is a better place because you're in it. I'll leave you with this. Watch your thoughts, they become your words. Watch your words, they become your actions. Watch your actions, they become your habits. Watch your habits, they become your character. Watch your character because it becomes your destiny. Congratulations to all of you again, all of you again and go Gamecocks. Thank you, Drew, for your remarks. I am so proud of you, your accomplishments, and your commitment to making this world a better place for us all. At this time, I would like to acknowledge and welcome our faculty who are participating in today's commencement. Would the faculty please stand? The JSU faculty have continuously supported our students as they work to achieve their academic goals. They have worked tirelessly and with compassion and creativity to ensure our students reach their goal of obtaining a college degree. Please join me in applauding the faculty and thanking them for their contributions to the educational accomplishments of today's class of JSU graduates. Thank you, faculty. You may be seated. Jacksonville State University and its students are blessed with many faculty and administrators who have dedicated their careers to teaching and to the support of teaching. Emeritus status is granted to those retired faculty and administrators who receive special recognition from their peers for outstanding service to the university. In your program, you will find the names of faculty and administrators who were recently awarded Emeritus status. Joining me today to make special presentations is Jacksonville State University's President Dr. Don Killingsworth. With the following Emeriti faculty, please come forward to receive a token of Jacksonville State University's gratitude from Dr. Killingsworth after your name is called. Emeriti faculty, Dr. Augustine Eator, Professor Emeritus, Communication.
Dr. John Jones, Professor Emeritus, English. Also receiving the designation of Emeriti faculty and could not be in attendance today, Dr. Thomas McCutcheon, Department Head, Emeritus, Music, and Dr. William Scroggins, Jr., Professor Emeritus, Finance, Economics, and Accounting. <laughs> receiving the designation of Emeriti Administrator, Ms. Lisa Williams, Associate Vice Provost Emerita, Academic Affairs. Please join me once again in congratulating these newly recognized JSU Emerita faculty and administrators. Thank you for your service to our beloved university. <laughs> Today we recognize a number of bachelor's degree recipients who are graduating with special honors and Latin honors. They are identified by the gold cords that they wear. Graduates, as I call for your group of honors designations to stand, please do so and remain standing until all honors graduates are standing. Students graduating from our honors program are identified by the bronze medallions they wear. The designation Honors Scholar identifies those who hold the Honors Scholarship, the university's top academic scholarship, and are also active members of the university's honors program. These students must complete 30 hours or more of honors designated courses, 56 or more service hours, and maintain a grade point average of 3.25. Will those graduates with this distinction please stand and remain standing? The designation honors program graduate identifies those who are active members of the university's honors program and who complete 24 hours or more of honors designated courses, maintaining a grade point average of 3.25. Will those graduates with this distinction please stand and remain standing? <laughs> Students graduating summa cum laude have achieved an institutional grade point average of 3.9 or higher on a four point grading system. Will those graduates with this distinction please stand and remain standing? <laughs> Students graduating magna cum laude have achieved a grade point average of 3.7 to 3.89. Will those graduates please stand and remain standing? Students graduating cum laude have achieved a grade point average of 3.5 to 3.69. Will those graduates please stand and remain standing? <laughs> Phi Kappa Phi is the nation's oldest national honor society for all academic disciplines. Phi Kappa Phi initiates only those students who have maintained an excellent academic record and all courses throughout their undergraduate or graduate careers. Will all Phi Kappa Phi members who are graduating this morning please stand and remain standing. Please join me in acknowledging this outstanding group of JSU graduates. Well done, honors graduates. You may be seated. Now, the moment we have anticipated and the reason we are here, the conferral of degrees. Will the candidates for graduate degrees please rise? Graduate degrees. President Killingsworth, I present to you the candidates for graduate degrees. All right, upon recommendation of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me 
by the State of Alabama and by the Jacksonville State University Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the graduate degree you have earned with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Congratulations, graduates. You may be seated. Will all candidates for baccalaureate or undergraduate degrees please rise? It's everyone else. <laughs> President Killingsworth, I present to you the candidates for undergraduate degrees. Upon recommendation of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of Alabama and by the Jacksonville State University Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the undergraduate degree you have earned with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Graduates, you may now move your tassels to the left. <laughs> Welcome to the community of scholars. I proudly proclaim that you are now graduates and alumni of Jacksonville State University. Congratulations, graduates, and please be seated. It is now time to introduce our convocation bell ringer. Will Miss Cindy Nanini please come forward at this time? In fall of 2018, a freshman class member rang the bell at freshman convocation, symbolizing the beginning of the freshman journey to earning a bachelor's degree. The bell ringing at commencement symbolizes the student completing and earning the bachelor's degree. To commemorate today's graduation, Ms. Cindy Nanini will now ring the bell. <laughs> Thank you, Cindy. Good morning. I am Dr. Channing Ford, Dean of Graduate Studies. Today I present those individuals completing their graduate degrees. With the completion of your degree, you have now earned the privilege of wearing a hood. The hood symbolizes not only your accomplishment and academic distinction, but your field of expertise. The color of the velvet trim is distinguished, distinctive of your academic field, and the interior lining of red and white is worn to represent Jacksonville State University as your degree-granting institution. I present the recipients of graduate degrees. These individuals have fulfilled the requirements for the Master of Arts, Masters of Business Administration, and Master of Science degrees. Graduates, please come to the stage to be recognized. Master of Arts in English, Samantha Farrell Wester. Master of Arts in Integrated Studies, Brenton Jesse King. Autumn Lee Rose. Kaylee Nicole Russell. Master of Business Administration with a concentration in accounting, Edward Alex Karagnan. Master of Business Administration, Nash Adams. Derek Evan Bayer. Sherelle Simone Burkett. Zachary Jacob Cangelosi. Sarah Cannon Connell.
Stephanie Renee Carlson. Eric Michael Jeter. <laughs> Brody Sean Henderson. <laughs> Bianca Nicole Johnson. Tori Macon. Christopher Mitchell. Selena Mosley Perryman. Jasmine Ulitha Salter. Rayleigh Marissa Simmons. Maria Lucia Trevino Ibanez. Devante Tullis. Samuel Waters. Maros Zelisnak. Master of Business Administration with a concentration in healthcare administration. Erica Tania Brewster. <laughs> Master of Science in Manufacturing Systems Technology, James Bradley Pritchett. Master of Arts in Integrated Studies, Channing Rodriguez Ford. <laughs> the College of Arts and Humanities. I'm Dr. Stacy Stone, Dean of the College of Arts and Humanities. I present recipients of undergraduate degrees who have fulfilled the requirements for the Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Fine Arts degrees in the College of Arts and Humanities. Graduates, please advance to the stage to be recognized. Abby Lee Adams. Brianda Bell. Bridget Rogers Blankenship. Hunter Jackson Brock. Jonah Glenn Browder. Ezra Leonard Bryant. John William Butorek. John A. Chisholm III.
Addison Alexander Cook. Hunter Crandall. Timothy Luke Curvin. Caius Dabney. Garrett Dempsey. Samantha Danielle Drake. Avriana Catherine Eastus. Bennett Matthew Fullenweider. Lamonte Elijah Gardner. Hannah Farley Griffith. Jeremy Andrew Hall. Kayla Harris. David Allen Hayes. Janice Marie Hendrick. Joshua Thomas Huffman. Adela Soto Johnson. Caitlin Rose Johnson. Anna Rose Karg. John Keith Lewis. Samantha Lindholm. Amanda Elizabeth Manuel. Terrence Terrell Martin. J.C. Joe Mayo. Cassidy Ray McGrath. Wadey McGrew III. Kimberly Faith McPherson. Trevor Ryan McWilliams. Jaron Matthew Means Higgins. Swakila Charlie Mitchell. Mary Jewel Morton. Caitlin Hope Neighbors. Savannah Ashley Owen.
Eric Mitchell Phillips, Jr. Bridget Alexandria Rayburn. Billy Madison Rodriguez. Bristol Rozelle. Eric Rush. Miranda Lynn Simmons. Alea Rain Smith. Zachary Lavelle Stanley. Wesley Shane Steed. Jared Stevens. Jade Shakarian Swink. Erica Danae Thomas. Casey Lee Trotter. Brandilyn Turner. Brandon Lee Vaughn. Madison Bailey Vickery. Christian Dwayne Watts. The College of Business and Industry. I'm Dr. Brent Cunningham. I am the Interim Dean of the College of Business and Industry. I present the recipients for undergraduate degrees who have fulfilled the requirements for the Bachelor of Arts and the Bachelor of Science degrees in the College of Business and Industry. Graduates, please come to the stage to be recognized. Moises Altamirano Zapata. Hunter Lee Bailey. Alexander Roland Bennett. Bethany Nicole Bible. Luke Jonas Bierbaum. Whitney Nicole Billingsley. Christian Bowles. Cameron Anthony Borders. Ashley Bravo. Philip Martin Caldwell III. Brandon Allen Card.
Ryan Gervon Karstoffen. Christopher Jordan Clark. Madison Brooke Coley. Madison Grace Kraft. Cindy Martinez Danini. Joey Alston Ellis. Lucas Alexander Fiesel. <laughs> Jacob Randall Freeman. <laughs> Second Lieutenant Jarrett Dayton Vincent Gallops. Ladarius Quintavius Graham. Anna Laura Gerganus. Rodriguez Antonio Gurley Jr. Savannah Grace Ham. <laughs> Stacy Elaine Harris. Brandon Allen Hay. Jacob Ryan Heath. Maggie Ann Hedgepath. Jackson David Holland. Joshua Tyler Katz. Matthew Ty King. Mackenzie Jade Ledbetter. Catherine Leonard. Victoria Levy. Eric Chung Lin. Kevin Max. Yari Jerese Mallard. Nancy Carolina Martinez Guzman. Emily Elizabeth Matthews. Austin McCollum. Quartavius DeAndres McConico. <laughs> 
Leanne McCord. Caleb Thomas McClellan. Jeffrey Jacob Milliken. Hunter Lynn Moody. Makai Morgan. Jackson David Moses. Everett James Musser. Appreciate it. Thank you. Annabeth Nicole Nelson. Levi Pipes. Britton Nicholas Proper. Priya Raga. Cameron Blake Ramsey. Ethan James Riggs. Jackson Stovall Robinson. Clifton Rashad Rowland. Sarah Ann Scrimshire. Mawinam Francois Sakaya. Michael Layden Sheffield. Madeline Elise Shepherd. Cassidy Smith. Journey Grace Spears. Derek Dwayne Stallworth. Jacob Alexander Stansel. Lauren Abigail Stark. Grace Marie Sturmer. Michael Edward Suddeth, Jr. Sarah Marie Sumners. Jigar Mahesh Vicaria. Ashley Brianna Watson. Brantley Dale Wethington. Ashley Marie Westbrook. Fulton White.
Timothy Evan Williamson. Congratulations to all of our graduates and best wishes for a successful career and a happy life. At this time, I would like to introduce Ms. Casey Ogle, Director of Alumni Relations, to welcome our newest graduates to the Alumni Association. Ms. Ogle. On behalf of the JSU National Alumni Association, I want to welcome you to our alumni family, a network of over 75,000 graduates across the globe. Now what I need you to know is that your relationship with JSU does not end today. We want and we need you to stay involved. Attend an alumni event in your area. Take advantage of the networking opportunities the association provides. Get to know other Gamecocks in your area. Now we're gonna ask you to give back in whatever capacity you can, whether it be helping us recruit future students, mentoring a current student, or supporting a scholarship when you can. We are so proud of you and we cannot wait to see all that your future holds. And now it's time for you to take your strengths and take your passion and go make our world a better place. Congratulations, graduates. Don't ever forget, we are forever Gamecocks. Please stand for the benediction by Reverend Robert Fowler and remain standing for the recessional. Congratulations to our graduates, and I invite you to bow your heads with me. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we give thanks today for these graduates, and we give you the glory for their successes thus far, asking that you will continue to allow them to prosper as the next chapter of life begins. In gratitude, we pray for the spirit of community here at Jacksonville State University, where since 1883, students, faculty, and staff have taught each other about friendship, collaboration, and sharing. Thank you for the dedicated educators who teach here and for the staff that supports them. Grant these college graduates success in both the professional and personal arenas. Allow them to exercise a proper balance between building a career and having a meaningful personal life. Most importantly, let their successes be earned in such a way that will be pleasing in your eyes. The past few years have been a time of response, recovery, transition, and transformation. And we pray that the leadership team under Dr. Don Killingsworth will carry this institution to new heights of excellence. May the future that looms before all of us be one of anticipation, opportunity, and fulfillment. Amen. This concludes our fall 2022 commencement ceremony. It is now time for the recessional. Please remain in your seats until the recessional is completed. After the recessional, family and friends are encouraged to meet the graduates outside of the Coliseum. Thank you for coming. <laughs>